So I was thinking about rocks. It seems like they're everywhere. Some people actually even buy rocks for their front yards as decorations or for their gardens. And there's nothing more annoying than getting a pebble in your sandal when you're outside walking. Do you know how long it takes for a rock to form? Well, according to Wikipedia, some igneous rocks can be formed in a matter of minutes, while some sedimentary rocks take millions of years to form. And there's a lot of sayings about rocks, like when somebody's in a really difficult situation and it seems like there's no easy solution, we say that they're caught between a rock and a hard place. And when a relationship seems to be coming to an end, when the struggle's almost too much, we say it's on the rocks. And a lot of people like their scotch on the rocks, but that's something very different from the previous reference. And just how far away is a stone's throw? My sister uses the expression, everybody has their box of rocks, when she's referring to someone who has serious problems or things to deal with. And they say that the secret to walking on water is knowing where the rocks are. Apparently, no one had told Peter that. And finally, a quote that could be used at any graduation address there will always be rocks in the road ahead of us, but they will be stumbling blocks or stepping stones. It all depends on how you use them. We all have had a lot of stones on our road of life. Some have been small, pebble-sized, slipped into our shoe and made walking uncomfortable for a while, but not impossible. Others have made us stop for a while till we could figure out what to do about it. And maybe we've even enlisted help from some of the people around us that we trusted. And some of those rocks, maybe we even just left there hoping they'd go away or be forgotten. But stones don't just disappear. We have to do something about them. Maybe the stones are anger or people we haven't been able to forgive or things we just can't let go of or resentments, or feelings of anger, and guilt, and shame. There's a short poem about a stone. The distracted man tripped on it. The violent man used it as a weapon. The tired farmer used it as a resting place. For the children, it was a plaything. David killed Goliath with it, and Michelangelo made the most beautiful sculpture out of it. In every case, the difference was not in the stone, but in the man. There is no stone in your path that you cannot use for your own growth. And I think of the scripture verse that says, the stone that the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. Of course, that refers to Jesus. But using the same image, we know there are many stones in our lives we'd like to reject or make disappear or better yet, as if they had never been there at all. But the truth is each of these stones has a purpose. It was put there for a reason and that reason is good even though often it's inconvenient. Jesus came that we might have life and life in abundance. So here's a final thought about rocks to carry with you throughout the day today. Problems are like stones. You can use them for anchors that sink you into the ocean or steps to rise and be better. What are you gonna do with your stones today?